Hello everybody, welcome back to Octave 11. We're all about having the, uh, the discussions, taking the discussions to the next level. And today on the show, uh, we do have the legendary David Thrussell of the outfit Snog, one of his many um, incarnations. Um, yeah, just having a little chat on the current climate of things here in the state of police state of Victoria. Um, yeah, just a bit of a casual chat. Yeah. Snowball blue. So here we are. All right, here, here we, we are. are. Nice to see you, thrusters. Likewise, nice to see you guys. Yeah, you, yes, you too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good to be here. We're all okay, all things considered. Yeah. All things considered. Army on the streets. So far, so yes. far so good. It has been strange. Yesterday was very strange. And yes, well, there's rumours of this blackout, so communications blackout, and blah blah blah. You know, yes, I've heard. Yeah, why well, do you mean like when they stopping the live streams? Yeah, stuff, yeah, like Facebook. Well, it seems to be back on today. So why just yesterday? And there were so many cops heading to where, doing what? If there was no protest, I don't heard. know. I know, it's all no idea. Bizarre. Yeah, but you know, I mean, let's let's be straightforward about it. Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> we're in a police state. I mean, we're really. We're up to our nuts. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, in a police state right now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, we saw yeah. that footage yesterday. I think it was earlier in the day when they uh, brought in the riot police, and there were dozens and dozens of them, from what it, what it looked like from the one bit of footage, and they had that vehicle, which I th think was acquired years ago as an anti-terrorist. Um, piece of equipment to deal with terrorism. Well, this this is the game they played, isn't it? You know, they. I, I'm so sus on all this terrorism trademark it, nonsense. Who are, the, who are the terrorists? We, well, us, well, apparently, us. we are. Yeah, we are. I, they've been getting ready for this moment, I reckon. Flipping. You know, yeah, they've mm. they've kitted up. They've got all their tech and all mm. their stuff for this moment. Mm. You know, and I, I think, look, just my opinion, obviously, but I think most of this terrorist stuff is pretty ginned up by the state, you mm. know, and it had a, like all these operations, all these intelligence operations, they usually have multiple levels, multiple aims that mm. they want to achieve. You know, one of the aims of all that, you know, terrorist stuff was just to scare people and divide people and disable them through chaos and fear, but also kit up, militarize the police. Just get justify all that stuff. the expenditure. Yep. All um, that. And why, way back to um, Martin Bryant in like, taking all of our arms, like they've been preparing us for this for a long, long, long time. Like it does look that way, doesn't mm, it? Mentally, yeah. emotionally and physically. Yeah, and now it looks like it's game on. That's how it looks. Well, it really and looks why specifically way. Melbourne, not not New South Wales, like the smart city thing too. Like I have uh, a theory about that. Yeah, I mean, do you share? I could be wrong. Um, well, I just think that Victoria, Melbourne, Victoria has a very high level of social justice warriors. You know, and I, in my view, one of the easiest things to identify about these so-called so social justice warriors is that they're what some people call statists. You know, really, they'll they'll do whatever the state tells them to do. The guardians, the guardians, the guardian. Of the guardian. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> and it's funny you mentioned the guardian. You know, whatever the ABC <laughs> and the guardian tell yes. them. The, all the people that are going to save the world from climate change. All, all this sort of stuff. They've been these people have been completely weaponized mm -hmm. to do whatever because i'm you know i mean i'm calling the abc and the guardian and all the rest of it the state because mm -hmm. i think it's an it's an alliance between mm -hmm. these things you know uh these people are statists they will do whatever the state tells them to do you know and i think that's why melbourne and victoria is such a perfect uh testing ground for all this totalitarian police state stuff because you have already you've got this class that's really in place what i call the collaborator class which is people who will push that narrative who will agree with it and will who will push it unquestioningly through the media and through academia and through the political class it's a, it's you know they've got they've got a collaborator class set and all ready to go so that, yeah. that class of people that's that's like doing um whatever the government state government tells you to do and often often citizen. i find it's the highest what's well, the virtue the most signaling, educated you know? too yeah. so they've been and the most sure. indoctrinated yeah, yeah, sure. they've spent okay. however many years in that sure. education system yeah. and system. they're fully indoctrinated and they yep. will defend that yep. not only what... the gatekeepers they'll defend it until they're because they well, can't because they're rewarded 
they're rewarded for their obedience. Yeah. Yes. You know, they get cushy jobs and yeah, cushy yeah. money and cushy lifestyle security and, and all that stuff. Security. And you know, they're they're um, you know, they can virtue signal to their heart's content. You know, the they thing can I'm even not... let us know they've got a healthy distrust of the government. <laughs> sure. But they still play the game. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's um, and that, again, that's also. I don't know if we have to be careful what words we say, but the V word that that just gets accepted, and um, even not knowing what it is and what what it's going to do, and what. Well, what, can you can you believe clearly, where clearly, we're at? It clearly yeah. goes against yeah the Nuremberg Code. Um, it goes against all of the. The common law goes against the constitution it goes against the human rights acts it goes against yeah, yeah. the hippocratic oath yeah anything about it my co-coerce. body my choice except when the government tells me except, not. yeah yeah That's right. <laughs> warning 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 so that yeah. makes no sense no, it's a bit crazy okay isn't it? All right. Well, they're, they're statists i mean you use whatever terms you want to use but yeah. i think that's a pretty good one yeah these are people who've replaced you know the universe or God or the creator or whatever you want to identify, they've replaced that deity or that being or that spirit, however you want to identify it, with the state. You okay, know? so that's yes. a big thing yep. too. I think that for a long, long, long time, hundreds, possibly thousands of years, the coercion to access us as humans and our soul energy. like the And cutting us the off ongoing from systemic, the greater soul um, or the spirit. You know, like cutting off from indigenous cultures, mm. from the planet, from sacred places, from ritual, from all the things, even our own genders that our souls have sure. come to cho- chose. And our ancestors and our traditions, our heritage, our all these history, basic things. Our history. Our history. Our history. Like all it's all stuff. creating this dis- disconnection so we're e- more easily uh, controlled. Yeah, yeah. And even to the level of um, technology with devices and everything separating us from, disconnecting us from nature. Which is one way we stay connected with that. Yeah, that I mean, it's a huge and question, isn't it? How yeah. long have they been at this? Yeah, to get us to get us ready. It feels like it's totally game on to me. To be honest, I hope I'm wrong, but it really looks like game on. You know, for this huge Re- as reset, you, reset, mm. soulless takeover, totalitarianism, yeah. whatever you want to call it, for this annihilation of the human spirit it looks yes. like game on to me well, you know and i think they've been setting it up for a long time well in the protest know? the other day they did i did witness on the live stream a minute silence for all the people who have committed suicide like mm. that that isn't being discussed how many people no. are choosing to take their lives because they can't feed their families they're lonely they're depressed my dad's sick and dying in hospital at the moment and no one can visit him he's no. there alone mm-hmm. and he's one story yeah across the whole planet it? it's, yeah. it's disgusting it's, it's atrocious yeah yeah well you know the the ideology that and drives they vaccinated this him even though he's sick and dying in the hospital oh, on sure. his own yeah of course mm. you know why would you do that well they have an ideology that's why you mm. know i mean and the ideology that drives this thing is and you can see it if you, if you take the glasses off you can see it very clearly it's it's anti-life mm. you know it's anti-life so it's, we're talking it's, about it's in opposition to are nature we talking it's Satanists evil. here. Well, what we're talking. Well, I mean, possibly. I mean, I would identify it just in the broadest terms. I, uh, it's it's evil. Have you you have seen you have seen the throne that the Pope sits on? I'm not a fan of the Pope myself personally. (laughs) Um, I'm not a fan of any organised religion (laughs) personally. Um, Yeah, I mean, well, there's look. I mean, it's come on. How obvious does it need to be? There's evil at play here, Mm. isn't there? You know, we're seeing it. You yes. know? And this is where it is anti life, as you said. Absolutely. Mm. And this is one of the places where quite a long time ago I really parted company with with the atheists because mm. I feel like this a- atheistic, uh, materialistic view of the universe simply doesn't want to or can't account for good and evil. Mm. You know, this doesn't really you know, then you can't really explain them in their worldview, you it's know. Just but nothing. if you have a, a worldview that rejects materialism you can account for good and evil and yeah. what we're seeing is is the clash of good and evil right now it's right in front of our faces yeah, yeah. i mean come on in melbourne they're driving around this weird armored vehicle bear cat thing with the dish to, to do does, god knows what on does it, anyone know, you know? Um, anything about that what do we know is there any information have you come across any information going around or what well, that, looks well it like looks pretty sin- i mean it looks deliberately sinister so mm. i feel like there's two at least two narratives at play here one of them which is to scare the fuck out of you because yeah. it all looks so sinister yeah. the other one is probably to weaponize 
that and use it in a reasonably sinister way. Yeah, so I think yeah. they're both happening at the same yeah. time. You know, I mean, we've, like you said earlier, we've heard all these rumours about this communications blackout for live streaming yesterday in yeah, Melbourne. Yeah. I mean, is that is that connected to that vehicle or is that some other technology? I have no idea, know. you know, but I, I assume it's possible, <clears throat> you know, well, it would explain it could, a few it things. It could be for, you yeah. know, direct, directly accessing the protesters or, or accessing the media blackout. Like it, mm -hmm. That could have been how mm. the media blackout happened. It's, it's possible. From that, I mean, that vehicle. I guess... Yeah. The most logical thing you can say is that we're not in a position to know, no. actually, but what we suspect mm. is that there has been this communications uh, blackout, mm. you know, that would, that would explain a few things. Uh, and that's reasonably sinister. I mean, that's pretty dark. It's ultimately Techn sinister, like shutting down you know? our right to communicate that's and level of share information. It's, uh, it's frightening. And this, what we've been talking about too, is all about this plan or idea of merging humans with machines and having that um i can't think of the, the term transhumanism transhumanism which well, is we're the, already quite a long way fourth... on that path i think because yeah, yeah. i mean I, i'm i'm pretty basic guy you know but i i see a lot of people doing this yeah a lot of the time and i go well that's kind of hu transhumanism that's... 101 isn't it yeah people have lost themselves in this technology hmm. you know um, that's kind of what it is. I mean, and that's, and you know, well, I'm, sure, people, I'm sure they want to go further with that. Well, obviously. a lot of people love it. Like even pre-lockdown when I was actually still had a job, um, people with their watches, like I love it. My credit card, it's all in here. Mm. But, you know, that comes so close to Black Mirror and the credit court score system. I actually watched something the other day on MasterCard making the biggest deal ever with um, some tech company talking about, um, you know, monitor monitoring your purchases to keep a check on the your carbon, carbon that's the klaus schwab sure right. thing. it's it's so coming if, if if you know i mean well don't say you weren't warned mastercard and the united nations are joining forces to monitor the carbon effect of your credit card purchases and then you'll hit your carbon max and it'll stop working hey of course it's voluntary for now the new credit card is called doconomy and on the back of the card it's going to say I am taking responsibility for every transaction I make to help protect the planet. This is a social credit score, and it's a proof of concept. The Doconomy CO2 credit card website claims it is the largest initiative ever taken by a bank in educating its users on the impact of consumption. They say themselves they want to set a global standard for carbon calculations. That's the key. Once they have their numbers in place, then they can give every single purchase you make a score and punish you directly. This is what China does. And of course, this will only be enforced on you and me and any businesses that don't go along with their scheme. And banks are going to enforce it. I mean, this is all coming if, if we let it mm, So come, how do we not you know? let it? How do we stop that? That's what I, we've been talking about the last couple of days. How does one avoid heading down the path of being in a controlled well, the most that's obvious, I mean, it's a totally valid question, yeah. and I don't, I'm I not don't, going to pretend I have a definitive answers to that, to of course. It's discuss it because mm. we're all but, different ideas. Uh, one, the most obvious strategy around that is to withdraw from that system as mm. much as you can. See, mm. I, I'm a history buff, you know, I read a lot of history books, for example, and this is, this is the historical epoch that I go to is the Soviet Union, mm. you know, and what people did in the Soviet Union is and they had to they had to to survive and i've spoken to people who who told me that they did exactly this in the soviet union they had to set up what they call parallel societies you know mm. they had to withdraw or have the least presence in this corrupt barbaric society that they're forced to be that's part really of. that's really interesting because i feel you like know? i've been doing that most of my life anyway sure. like withdraw withdraw do it all upside down to the way everyone else was doing it like having children young living in the bush single mom yeah, conspiracy theorists. So I feel like I've practiced it. I think back to again. But and there's and but there's two sides to that. I reckon there's withdraw, but that's not enough on its own. In yeah, my opinion, you've got to build as well. You know, um, so self-organized collectives. That's the self as well. Well, and, and networks, yeah. parallel societies. You yes. know, like um, this is what people did in the Soviet Union. They had a black market. Yeah. You know, you had a black market. This kind of stuff. This is how people attempted to survive in that incredibly oppressive mm. climate, mm. which is a climate that we now understand a little better than we might have mm. 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah.
some people still can't see the correlations. It's um, of course not. They're, they're, they're encouraged not to see them, you know, <laughs> but they seem pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, well, that's that brainwashing. Yeah. And the um, yeah, I just can't believe how many people are still watching mainstream media. Television, mm. the well, it's hypnosis, that's hypnosis, it's and hypnosis, and brainwashing, you know. Yeah. yeah. So we were in the former some some countries of the former Soviet Union two and a bit years ago when you could still do that, mm. you know. And I had dozens of conversations with people and really great conversations with people there. Because when people there in these Eastern Bloc countries realise that you're from somewhere else in mm. Australia or wherever you're from, certainly I found that they really wanted to tell you about life in the Soviet Union. Even mm. though for us it's a bit ancient history, it's like 30 years ago mm. now, roughly speaking, um, they st people of our age group still wanted to say, Basically, I had people grabbing me by the shoulders and saying, sit down, I need to tell you what this was like, this living nightmare that somehow we survived, you know? Somehow mm. we survived this hell on earth situation where you knew that you were surrounded, you, you know, had people around you that would dob you in, uh, you know, informers or whatever, you know, and you knew. And that meant that everybody had to lie, everybody had to... to, to um, repeat these lies, you know, they were lied to, they had to repeat the lives just to, the lies just to stay alive. How unsettling for our na human nature to Well, this to is trust. exactly what they said. They said it, mm. one guy, uh, this great guy, uh, Jan, in, in Prague was saying to me that this, you could feel it eating at your soul the yeah, whole time yeah, yeah. because yeah. you knew you were lying and you knew they were lying to you and you were repeating lies and other people were lying back at you yeah. and he said he could just feel his soul being eaten away That's the so whole serious. time. That's a tactic. Because yeah. you felt you had to do, to do that. that to survive, you know. So and, and the energy to keep that going is just draining absolutely. energy for, for something. Absolutely. So, I mean, I've, I think we have to try and learn as much as we can from these historical precedents, you know, mm. and understand that I'm, I'm going to call it a technology, this technology of it's dishonesty. A, it is. It's a do you know what I mean? Where yeah. you, have to, you feel like you have to repeat it just just to survive you know and we're gonna have to try and learn from that stuff so we don't tr you know we'll try not to fall into those same traps and you know build obviously you know they they said they built parallel societies and they built places where they felt they might be out you can never according to those people you can never be completely sure who was who mm -hmm. but they felt that reasonably yeah. secure to be honest yeah. you know within these small areas yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so we're gonna have to do similar stuff I, to that yeah and the other thing i'm thinking about too is that, that parallel between what what happened in hong kong with the protests in 2019 and 20 uh and the hong kong police or riot police or whatever they're called um and their tactics and their equipment and their uniforms and how similar that is to what's happening now in melbourne and i read something or heard something earlier about some meetings that were held between the um, Victorian government ministers and the heads of the Hong Kong police. I don't know sure. when this occurred, but so there's been interaction and dialogue and sharing of information and of course, tactics. tactics and, yeah. yeah. And so now we're seeing that replicating now in Melbourne. So See, terrorism was never the concern. It was just a stand in. It was like a stunt double yeah. for us, the public. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. so they built all this infrastructure around terrorism, terrorism yeah. you know, but actually terrorism was just a stand in for us, you know, and it was all meant to focus on us. I think, mm. I think it's now become pretty that, obvious. Well, we've seen it, um, you know, like citizens being sh shot at, um, and attacked by the police and, and over the last few days with these protests. Uh -huh. So we're seeing, yeah, we're seeing that happen. We're seeing the, yeah, the, the, the target of that violence is the, the citizens like the yeah not not um mm. not terrorists whatever the you know definition of terrorist, <laughs> whatever that, terrorist yeah, is but, sure yeah but it's just regular people yeah you know, of course for freedom so what you can i reckon what you can extract the useful information that you can get from that and it's screamingly obvious but i'm going to say it anyway is that that whole apparatus is completely and utterly corrupt mm. okay so don't give it strength don't believe their lies Try not to engage with it. Actually, really, I mean, where where they often get you 
the state where it gets you is where you think you have to interact with it. Mm. So try and minimise your interactions with it. This is mm. what people in the Soviet Union did. They tried to absolutely minimise their interactions with the state because the state is, is actually barbaric and totalitarian. Mm. So you stay away from it wherever you can. Mm. That's Which, why, yeah, just yeah. to be out here like, and creating small networks for exchange, for dialogue, for, you know, physical, mental, emotional support. Um, keep it small and safe and then they can all hook up like little networks yeah. where it's not, you know, someone dogged on someone for hugging in the Coles car park the other day. It's like, so you don't want to go to Coles. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't. I don't really well, there's, well, there's the car park. There's, well, it's funny, well, isn't it? Because anyone, there's two like sides to that yeah, story. I hadn't heard that one before, but it doesn't mm. surprise me. But there's two sides to that. I think it that. was me. It, was it? All right, okay. <laughs> it was yeah. hugging, yeah, not okay. dogging. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like, I mean, obviously you want to be smart, you don't want to be dumb, mm. but the flip side of that is if they get, if they get you frightened of every human interaction, mm. then they've won. Because that's what they want. They don't want us behaving like humans. Obviously, their agenda is anti-human mm. and anti-life and anti-life and, and love joy, and, and joy bliss, and, and connection yeah. and all yeah. these kind of things. So if if we withdraw the way they want us to withdraw, then they have won, you know. So I think we need to deny them that victory while obviously still trying to be smart in a fashion. I know it's I know it's a complicated road you know yeah. I, I get that yeah and that that's that that does a that's a huge thing on on, on an energetic level like even that alone is a, a massive win sure. um because that energy will spread of course um and, and build and grow and 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 the you know you can't tackle it physically head on so i think what happens with those physical protests that they if they become violent, like they have been, been becoming violent, that in the end, the state wins or the police win that exchange or that that bout of protesting because they they've, they've got more physical stuff, and so you kind of can't win that way. So these are the ways that we can. Sure, we I mean, have I, little I have a, I have a, I have kind of, uh, you know, I, I have two not necessarily contradictory views, but two views on that i mean sure i wouldn't recommend opening fire on the police or whatever you're never yes, going to win that yeah, one okay exactly, and that's yeah. and that's what they want yeah but the flip side of that i feel is obviously they hate those protests happening like mm. the one outside of the building union the yeah, other yeah. day they hate it this is why they're sending in the riot squad you know because they don't want that to spread the, this idea of, you know, this sort of collective resistance to spread. They obviously hate that idea, you know, so, and they, and they're always, I mean, I've seen this, um, we've probably all seen it, but I've seen this since, you know, since the early nineties, uh, for example, um, they always, you know, I went to all the anti-Iraq war rallies and all that sort of stuff. And you always saw there that there were these agent provocateurs, seeded into the crowd yeah. to produce violence yeah. so that the media could get their Fair moment mm -hmm. where, and you know, I saw this 50 times, yeah. the police would come, intimidate, threaten, bash people with truncheons or do whatever they're going to do. And then eventually the crowd has had enough and throws a punch back at mm -hmm. the police, even though the police have been chasing them with the horses and beating them and blah, blah, Somebody throws a punch back and all of a sudden, by some strange coincidence, that's when the media cameras It was like that guy at that very moment, punching the you know? horse. You know, yeah. if you actually look at the footage of that, he, he was he, he was not doing he that. Was but just yeah, wag the dog at the media's, yeah. I'll look at the media. Um, in, in my view, okay, the media already... actually lead this Okay, thing. so how do we get rid of the media? That's what, that's <laughs> Turn it off. off. Yeah, no, that's, like actually, yeah, like we don't watch it. Yeah. I haven't had yeah. television in my house for 20 sure. years. But it still seeps through, even even to people who've made the conscious choice to turn it off. It still seeps through. It still affects people that we know. So how, yeah. do, we, how do we combat the lies? How do we combat that? You know, like you can't just tell everyone to turn off the freaking telly. You can. I have. I've said it yeah. to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like well, we've got to build our own one. And, you know, I've, you know and, and there's some signs that there is some success about that. I mean, this blackout, if it was one yesterday, is a sign that they really don't want independent voices you know, I recording this sort of stuff. That's a sign that they really don't like too. it. Like, you know, the, the, the day or two ago when people were live streaming from the city, 
you know, some of those streams had 50,000 people watching yeah. live. And so they're... So that's going to be more... I mean, you know, the mainstream media's ratings these days are dismal. They yeah, don't yeah. want to talk about them. They're through the carpet. They're yeah, yeah. so low, you know. Where they should be. And, 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 and it, for me, that it asks a bunch of questions, but one of them is how the hell are they staying on air? Mm. Or how are they even profitable? Because I don't think they are. Mm. I think no. they're funded, they're su subsidised by the state in well, some fashion, the... you know, because their viewership is absolutely kaput. Yeah. Well, you know? I just hope and pray, you know, and I feel if the mainstream media goes down, the whole story, the whole narrative will that, crumble. That will be the thing. That so they're yeah. part of the out. big part of the key. Yeah. Of, I actually um, think they are the worst influence in society yeah, is the mainstream media. That's it. I mean, the politicians are a bunch of idiot clowns, obviously. Yeah. Academia, blah, 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 all the rest of the whole political class a write-off as far as I'm concerned, you know, but the media is the worst. They have a lot of know? power, yeah. Well, they do, the you know, because they build this, they build this sort of consensus bubble where nothing, no different opinions are allowed no. in their realm That's whatsoever, right. yep. you know. And, and it's very convincing and it's very hypnotic and it works on people. They convince people of all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah. They convince people that there's this virus out there that knows when you're standing up and when you're sitting yeah. down. And people think that that's a, a logical, serious position to hold. Yeah. I, they, they, I they, they, that's right. they write say, science on the front and people go, oh, yeah, recently okay. Recently someone said to me, I, I believe oh. in the science. And I nearly said to her, it's not a religion. You can't believe no, in but science. It is. It has well, been. They're it making, is. They're turning it into a I think, religion. I think yeah. they've already succeeded. The I think they've succeeded cult, a long time ago. You know, And they're using magic hypnosis techniques um like repeating things constantly three, three times yeah absolutely I mean, absolutely so it is, it is effective brainwashing i, I yeah. think there's an occult element to this stuff absolutely, absolutely. i think they're evil and i think absolutely. they're up you only to, have you to know, look at the architecture of canberra and yeah look at yeah the the layout of and all the, the lies the of history and astrology and all the things that can empower us that they've uh quashed mm. as we know they're pretty much lying to us about Everything, Everything. Mm. And I, but I feel like we're in a we're in a really important juncture in history right mm. here, you know, and it's a difficult juncture. Um, but we have a responsibility to our children and the people mm. who come after us to not, if we can, not to leave them a world of complete shit, mm. you right. know, because this is a distinct possibility. Right mm. Actually, yeah. um, I was reading something a little while ago on on time travel. And how, you know, it's quite possibly such a, a, a potent time and a conjunction point of so many things that, you know, if, if by chance it went its full totalitarian way, why for in the future wouldn't you come back and t help tweak it now? To prevent like, that. To help prevent mm. that. Like there's a really important choice, choices are being made right now about what future mm. we're heading towards. I agree. And I do ponder whether or not, you know, we actually fucked up on a, on a different timeline and mm -hmm. someone's come back from the future going, don't fucking go down that path. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, wake the fuck up now. So, because mm. we've all seen it on, on the movies, on Hollywood, on, yeah, on, it's, it's all that, being pre-programmed what it can it? look like. Black Mirror... Yeah. It's all already in our psyches because it's been fed to us for the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I think we can change it. I think we can actually, and astrologically my understanding is that, you know, we are moving from the Pisces, you know, the age of sheep, you mm -hmm. know, following the guru oh, yeah, yeah. to an age of independent thinking like, mm -hmm. and knowing, not 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 just well, blindly following. I'm sure they're, they're, I don't know that stuff in detail, but I'm yeah. sure that, the forces of darkness are aware of all sorts of uh, currents in history mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, thought and, and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, because they do look desperate right now. They, mm. they really reveal Danny themselves. Boy, Danny Boy's looking a bit sweaty. Yeah. Ooh, it's a very <laughs> unpleasant image too, isn't <laughs> it? Danny He's like sweaty. having a little tantrum. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just don't. Yeah. Just don't yeah. drink while you're in a Well, they look, they look <laughs> desperate. They've, they've sunk a huge amount of resources into this thing. Obviously, they've obviously got 
unlimited funding. I mean, yeah. let's let's just abandon this idea of economics and you know output has to equal input nah. and blah blah blah. They've obviously got unlimited. You know, because they control the money supply, so obviously they just make it up. You know, yeah, and they control the print more. Well, and they control the strings of politics, so they can just open up the floodgates or whatever. But I mean, obviously, I mean, we've seen this on the streets of Melbourne. They've got unlimited it's access incredible. to funds, and yeah. you were saying off camera, yeah. Richard. You know, all the all the vehicles and the cars and all this stuff. I mean, that's a lot of money. Lot of money. You know, all, all the big gear that every single all the one gear, of them. all the training. Where have all these? I don't think they've had any training, have they? Well, I think actually under the, under the school. under Train. the law okay. they're all um, they're all working for corporate organisations now the government's corporate the military's corporate the police um, are corporate so they're all they're all they're all um, impersonating officers of the Commonwealth. Well, I mean that may be the case I don't know but I would argue that they're obviously illegitimate by their actions regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I mean their actions yeah. are so clearly. Yeah. invalid and immoral mm -hmm. that case closed as far as I'm concerned you know they're illegitimate <laughs> I mean the whole political class and the whole of the media and the whole of academia and all the rest of them are all illegitimate they don't yeah. have a legitimate uh, claim to a social contract anymore you know because they've broken it on every level and, you know? and like the like even that the policing has changed so much recently where we have um, like I think a lot of us still think we have that police force that's of the people that voted uh -huh. in the local government being funded and paid for and given instructions by the local government um but what we have now is this you know the smart city policing force is headquartered this is what i understand is headquartered in london as part of the un's smart city plan across mm -hmm. across the world so the resources come from that headquarters and the funding is coming from there so we've got all this money and um and and that's why we can have hundreds maybe of these riot police in melbourne uh independent of the, the victorian government maybe i'm not sure but so they're well they look like, they look like mercenaries else. don't they they look exactly like mercenaries. mercenaries they don't appear i mean i've even seen that well, supposed police red. that's right well yeah. even the supposed the police uniforms. commissioner He's wearing in his black yeah. uniform. It's like, it's like, like I've never Nazi. seen that before, no, no, no. you know? Like, that's not the, like the, the police little, wear blue in Australia. We all know this. It's a little Terminator badge that one of the cops had on his things, too. Okay. The, the Predator pick, the Predator thing. The okay. Predator, I'm not sure. I don't know what that. I'm, yeah, that symbol's <laughs> a mystery. I don't who know are these? Who but are these guys? You've got your police in blue that we understand as, as police, Victoria Police. And then there's two uniforms which are black, and red. one of them one of them has red riding on the back and the other one has blue maybe blue, blue or black or something mm -hmm. so it's seen and then some of these police personnel or riot police personnel look like the um the personnel that were in hong kong during those protests on the, okay. like the same equipment the same armory uh -huh. the same thing at the back of the helmet so it it um I, I don't fully understand where everyone's coming from like some police are coming perhaps from the un organization and their their networks or their their organization and then maybe some of the police in melbourne have come from the hong kong or the chinese police force i think I the fact that we're not being there. told and nobody actually knows or understands probably is frightening no in it's, itself. well there's but, because there's no journalism in this country no. i mean the, you know generally and there there are exceptions but you know the way we understand the scenario is that the mainstream media has the funding and the resources to actually do investigative journalism try not to laugh while i say that um <laughs> but no one's asking these questions no, are they? that's, that's who are yeah, these guys i, I mean why 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 too. is sweaty dan not being asked yeah. at his press conference so you know here's a photo of these guys beating up this old lady yesterday who are they where do they come who from? pays for it yeah. where do they come from what yeah. the hell's going on as to all the other stuff i have no idea you know but they don't, uh, they're certainly not legitimate. I mean, that's what no. I'm, I'm certain of, you know, they're not legitimate. Well, I think they've been given two weeks, haven't they? They're, they're no jabby, no pay as well. So that, that might the, change the... Um, I'm pretty the sure climate. that's happening in Queensland with the Queensland force. They've got been given two weeks. I'm not sure, that could be the same in yeah, Victoria. Sure. I mean, I guess you can pull back and you can go, okay, so there's obviously an operation underway with 
limitless funding, limitless resources, all the backing of the media and the political class to completely demoralize us as a people, you know? And a lot of people say, and I agree with them, that uh, Melbourne and, and Victoria are the testing ground for this mm. sort of stuff, you know? Mm. I think that's become pretty obvious, mm. you know? So, you know, I, I, I uh, you know, I'm quite sure that they're gathering as much data as they can about all this stuff and how people react and how it plays out so they can finesse it and, and massage it and roll it out elsewhere. Yeah, so, that's how it looks. so guys, it's coming for you. I mean, mm. right now it's here, but it's, you know, it's coming for you. You know, they're just going to, uh, they're just going to finesse and, um, you know, uh, work it up a bit more. Yeah, they'll roll exactly. it out elsewhere. The data, I assume. feedback loops, um, and they and those. And, you know, and, and and I think media and social media and all these things are part of this uh, testing. You know, yeah. and um, I'm I'm I wouldn't be surprised if there's a team or a, a group that is monitoring social media sentiment and Absolutely. all that sort of stuff all yeah. over the place yeah. to build a, a picture. Yeah. Right. And, and I mean, as much as, and, and I, uh, I do think this, as much as I think that they've been working up to this point for decades, mm -hmm. I also think that they're working on the fly as well, you know, because you see them float ideas and then pull them back. Like you saw them float with the, with the truckers, you saw them mm. float the mandatory uh, jabbed cross borders. Mm. The truckers arced up to some degree or, or another, and they pulled it back. Mm. You know, they're doing, they're working. So I'd love know. to see the moment when the truckies, the nurses, the teachers, the tradies, yeah, all standing for like if if no jab, no work. Like they all come together and stand together. That might be the the ultimate point when. You know, rather than these well, factions, this is exactly what the powers of darkness don't, don't want. want. Yeah. This is why when the building union guys hit the streets, they were onto them like a ton of bricks with their, you know, armoured vehicles and all this crazy nonsense and potentially this, this blackout thing, you know. Um, they don't want, because, you know, I mean, it's the oldest story in the book is that there's a lot of us mm. and not many of them no. actually, you know, that's and that's, right. the, that's the biggest secret but also the most obvious truth in the whole game yeah there's a ton of us not many of them but they spend a lot of time convincing us that we're powerless yeah mm -hmm. yeah you know so yeah. if if we band together we're going to be unstoppable yeah that's why they've so that i think that's why i think i think honestly i'll put my cards on the table i think that's what all this whole identity politics stuff was about yeah, yeah. it was just separating people yeah, divide. Often, cancel, often, cancel culture. all of it yeah. often through just total nonsense yeah. you know but divide and rule it's the oldest imperial trick in the book yeah, absolutely. you know yeah and they've been doing it to us hardcore yeah you know? absolutely yeah yeah and they do it still doing it hardcore especially in the schools everywhere mm. sure well it's coming at us from every direction yeah, you know sure. and i don't you know um i don't think it's any kind of coincidence that right now we've had all that identity politics craziness all the tech is now ready it's here and ready to go you know everyone's hooked to their phones you couldn't do this operation without the phones, no. I don't think, you know, like you couldn't on every level, it wouldn't be possible without the tech. The tech's here right now and all yeah. of a sudden, boom, it's yeah, on. The, the, yeah, the tech yeah. is the QR codes, pins, so people's, yeah, all their personal information, where they are, who they're with, all of it. what they're talking well, the, about, who they, what they're listening to, what they're buying, all of it. Yeah, the social Incredible. media platform. Really? That just it. handed it all. <laughs> yeah, I know it's crazy, years. isn't it? It's crazy, you know. And, I mean, it's Here come from, and it's come from every direction too. I mean, now I put all this stuff together, and I was always sussing at the time, you know. But even basic, basic things, you know, you can't send a package or a letter now in Australia without it being tracked. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's recent. Mm. That's very yeah, recent. That right. stuff, and you can apply that across the board. I mean, I remember two and a bit years ago. Was it two, three years ago? Back in the old days. Yeah, back in the old days. <laughs> um, you know, they rolled out this um, my health record thing, this database yeah. thing. And I read somewhere, I don't know if it's true or not, but I read it somewhere in the mainstream press that they spent $5 billion mm. on this my health record database thing. And at the time, what? that just sent out this huge red flag mm. for me. And I went, what the hell? Be? Oh, vaccine passport. Yeah. yeah. Is anyone doing fake ones yet? I've heard rumours about them. <laughs> yes, you know, yeah. Um, but this, that's that black mirror. But I don't. Sorry. I'm not sure. Right now, my position is that I 
just my opinion, I wouldn't engage with that because I feel like you're giving by using fake ones I don't or whatever. Have a oh, phone. Yeah, yeah. You you're well you're adding power to that system. I'm just that saying system. to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, right now, I mean it could change in six months or, or whenever, of course. Yeah. I understand. But yeah. right now, like I said earlier, if you engage with that system, you are strengthening it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so just don't engage yeah. with it. That's walk away right. from yeah. the system. Yeah. Walk away. Walk away. From the system. Yeah. However you can. And I understand people are in different positions and, and different yeah. circumstances. So I understand it's going to be very hard for some people. Mm. You know, not so hard for other people, you know, but however you can do it, yes, you know, walk away from it. Mm. And I guess the other th thing I would say to people is this is a pretty dark time. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, you can, it's in, in Victoria, you can feel the darkness. There's this black cloud hanging over oh, yeah. us, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I realise that and it's obvious, I think, you know, around us. But it's important for us not to give up. I because think it's win, ultimately you know? important yeah, to yeah, yeah. maintain some joy, some connection um, and creativity, like it being able to sit in and imagine the best yeah. outcome, like mm -hmm. the best possible future for all. Yeah. Yeah, uh, equality, peace, freedom, yep. fresh water, good food uh -huh. for the whole planet. And you know, yep. it is it Imagining. is particularly tricky when you're feeling the heaviness. But that's yeah to to hold that in your mind and your heart is you know like it's really profoundly important moving forward. And I understand how difficult that you know, but you can cut pictures out, you can draw, mm. you can paint, you can listen to your favourite music. There's plenty of things. And now it's spring in the garden. Mm -hmm. Like just go out and ponder a flower. And uh, yeah, and I would say just get off the tech. Get because off the, the tech, tech, I think ultimately the tech, yes, I understand it's convenient and useful in some ways. Yes, mm. I understand that, even though I am a bit of a Luddite myself. But it's depressing to people. I actually think it really mm. lowers... Uh, people's sense of self-worth and probably and their your mood. immune system and you're probably the if whole thing therefore your immune yep. system I, you yep. totally agree you know so yep. get off the tech if you can even though we're being fed this narrative of conflict i mean it's right you know on our on our doorstep in a fashion you know yeah. um we're being fed this this clash of the titans sort of narrative kind mm. of thing you know but mm. still try and get off the tech as much as you can because it's a trap i mean they didn't call it the Internet, net, the web, the net, net the, web the web for nothing. I honestly don't. I, the World Wide Web. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I look. I go back. You know, you, you've probably heard of uh, MK Ultra and these mind control yeah. programs from the fifties oh, and the sixties. Yeah. You know, and oh, you know, yeah. you, if you read the books about all that stuff, which and I've read some of them myself. You know, you know, they talk about experiments with drugs and these colourful stories about. Uh, you know brothels where they filmed everything and drugged up all the guys and filmed all their stuff for blackmail. Epstein Island. Oh, well, that's the latest version. Oh, right. But there were, ver <laughs> yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. But there was versions of that in the '60s oh, as well and yeah. the '70s as well. You know, and um, and you know, there's lots of colourful stories about all that sort of stuff and trying to program assassins with using hypnosis and drugs and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Notably absent from that story, is the I average know, human. Well, no, it's the internet. Oh, okay. Because the internet was developed at the same time. It was all that oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. But you never hear it mentioned in the same sentence as MK Ultra. Yeah, but okay. MK Ultra was a program of mind control. Well, you know? Operation Mockingbird, the mainstream media. Well, that's exactly it's... what it is. It comes from the same era. Absolutely. You know? yeah, so you know? ever since we've had the television on, and I haven't had television in my house for 25 years, I'm proud to say. Both my children were brought up without the television. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, it's all pre-programming forever. MK Ultra yeah. is everywhere. I think it affects us even though we don't realise. Absolutely. And then we've, Absolutely. now we've got 5G towers. Now we've got our little antennas with our mobile phones everywhere. I wonder if they don't mess with our time on our mm. phones. If like, Well, time seems to vanish. It, it also, on them, that's instantly for sure. it changes yes. now with daylight savings. Like we could lose a minute, get added yeah, a few minutes. Yeah. And I, yeah. I struggle with the historic timeline anyway. I think that's all a lie. Uh, mm -hmm. history and uh... sure that's where i was thinking before um this there's this sort of awareness happening through tar tartaria is that mm. how you tartaria tartaria tartaria, yeah. tartaria lots of people are getting interested in researching into old buildings and um, these mysteries but that's also uncovering and showing people it's kind of like the the extent to how we've been lied to about not just one part of our history Pretty much everything so it's become a fascinating architecture opening. medicine yeah the whole um yeah, well you know the, you, you know the the quote uh, 
uh, was it Napoleon? I can't remember who it was. You know, history is a lie agreed upon. You know, so sure, the what bulk about of their story. Yeah, and what yeah. about their story? Like yeah. we all know, there's three sides to every story. Sure. They were in that one and what actually happened. So yeah, mm-hmm. I will, that's what I want to spend the next little while researching because I think the more we understand about our history and the more we understand ourselves of who we are innately and how um, incredibly powerful we are as individuals, mm-hmm. um, that that's the way forward. Like, sure. That's the way forward to understand. There's a flip side for me to, to that, journey, you know, yeah, because yeah. I think, I think, I think the bulk of our history is some kind of lie, certainly, you know, there's a flip side for me though. I am, look, I'm a Luddite, you know, I'm very wary of the internet, you know, because I feel like the internet is been, has been built as this sort of vast sponge to suck us in and to disorientate us, you know, and, and the part of the, part of the, part of the sort of mechanism is of disinformation is that you embed truths, but you wrap, you wrap truths with, with, you know, lies, you know, I mean, what's the, what's that quote? I think it was Winston um, Churchill who said that um, the truth is so precious that she has to be wrapped in a blanket of lies, hmm. you know, and I feel like this, the online world is a, a, a real trap in this way. I mean, it can lead you down all sorts of places and it, and it can smother you in, in chaos. Cause I mean, that's part of disinformation is to, because I think the people who build disinformation know that they can't completely smother the signal of truth, so they just try and overwhelm it. Okay, so that's, know, to with, me, with it's really important moving forward when looking at information, if you need to, like, again, switch it off if you can, is using your intuition and mm. instincts, like sure. checking right in deeply. Does it feel right? Sure. You know, like, does, does it sound right or look right? Mm-hmm. Um, and question everything. Like, sure. get, 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 you know, if you find something and go, hmm, you know, whoa, did they did they land on the moon or not? Look elsewhere. No, they didn't. NASA mm-hmm. lies yet. Mm-hmm. Just look for different and talk to different people about it mm-hmm. too and get a million different mm-hmm. and then drop it and then go back to it and see how it feels again. Sure. I think that's an important way to search through mm-hmm. info. Uh-huh. I, I do personally. think I, I completely agree. But I do also think let's be careful right now though because I, f- I feel like I don't disagree, and I, f- I do think the bulk of our history is a lie, certainly. But right now, we're standing on the precipice of to- absolute totalitarianism. Mm. I mean, we've got a taste of it here. We know exactly what it looks like here, mm. you know. That has to be, I think, our priority right now. That's my view. Other people will disagree, and that's fine. But we we really have to try and repulse or overcome this huge push into totalitarianism as as much as we can because if we fail not wanting to be too grim about it but there won't be scope down the track Mm -hmm. to 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 come back no like to unwind it that's right that's exactly right yeah yeah there's no return from that so i feel like in my view that really has to be our priority is to fight this back in whatever way we can and i mean and it, look i i realize we're all in different situations and, and different I, things we can do but i do think it's not a bad idea to try and aim every day to do something against it mm. no matter what it might be you know just do something every single day do something post it or go and protest it or do whatever it is that you can manage to do or just disagree in a circle of friends or whatever it is to not wear a mask whatever it is (laughs) every day Mm. do something against that narrative Mm. you know otherwise it will win it will take us yeah yeah because it's kind of like the the, um the middle line is shifting and how far it shifts towards that totalitarianism is what's that's happening. pretty it's pretty close right so we've now got to make sure that yeah that's right like yeah. what's happening right now is how far that line's going to shift that way or that way mm-hmm. so everything we can do to make it come this way more because once this process and however that whatever that time frame is is kind of done then that line becomes fixed yeah so if it goes too far that way then you can't pull it back well i think yesterday was a bit of a line pusher you know blacking out media and information and yeah the censorship yeah see this is where and i I hate to sound like mr luddite in the corner but i am this is where the the, this is where the tech has trapped us 
You know, because we're relying. We are, we are so on, reliant on it. We are so reliant yes, upon that stuff. It's true. You know? And that's and what happened yesterday. Yep. As yep. soon as that They've was got cut us off, there. like that, all that um, ability was taken away to use the tech. Um, there was, conf it looked like there was confusion because it, it was, people couldn't even communicate. They couldn't work out where to meet or mm -hmm. that's how it seems. Well, and throw, on a, throw an earthquake into the mix. I think, yeah, it's very discombobulating. Mm uh environment for everybody yeah mm. funny coincidence that wasn't that the oh, earthquake the time yeah <laughs> very special time so, yeah, I, I, you know, apparently knows, but... near mansfield was the epicenter also yeah. near a town called jericho how biblical does that sound yeah um it's but right 10 kilometers deep area um Apparently that's where Danny Boy went and stayed after his. I've heard that rumor. His mum's so, got a farm, a farm out that's near Mansfield, oh, Mansfield somewhere. What his mum's got going yeah. on out there? But yeah, yeah. ten k's deep, which equates to all the other earthquakes around the, the globe of ten k's deep and all that stuff going on. But apparently it was felt all the way to Tasmania, mm -hmm. um, and as it was recorded Canberra. all the way to Antarctica. Okay, I've heard, I've heard well that. we definitely felt it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And hearing a little snippet from um, some fella via someone else um, that his horses didn't wee out. Like he has, he's experienced a couple of earthquakes and the animals all go really wiggy and weird. Mm -hmm. And he said this time yep. it didn't and he's convinced it wasn't a natural earthquake. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's... Um... You know, new sound, you know, whatever tanks with... Who knows what they're yeah, up to? His, blocking his, material, who knows what it is. And yeah. his thinking um, was that it came from above, not not under the ground. So he was he was talking about uh, it, something to do with weather, weather modification technology. Yeah, he actually used. said he thought it was a direct energy weapon. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we, we were hit by some Pulse. frequency, but something from above. Sure. And which is why the ground, you know, that, that, was, at, that was what he was sort of, eyewitnessing was that the ground wasn't shaking mm. and the horses the and then again a lot of you know we didn't really have a lot of buildings a lot of building damage happened which i thought was uh, sort of for unusual. the biggest one in victoria yeah. I've ever recorded it was certainly it was certainly odd mm. and it certainly mm. uh, got the building union protests off the front page of the paper yeah, well it did that so it as well convenient yeah. timing i mean who knows but i think it's important to keep in mind that whether that's the case or not, and I have no idea, they're trying to demoralise us, mm. you know, and we have to be careful not to let them succeed in mm. that, you know, because, you know, there are a lot more of us than there are of them. Yeah, well, just you know? that the old image of the shark chasing the school of fish and how quickly the school of fish can take the shape of a bigger shark and eat the shark. That's <laughs> where we're at right now is people realising that if all the little fish you know, sh shift their perspective and come together mm. that we can, we mm -hmm. can take down. We can scare the sure. shark. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and mm. we are in the middle they've, they've obviously planned this thing in my view for decades, you yes. know, they've war gamed it. They've got all the psychology behind it and they've got all the media on board and blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, but they can still make mistakes, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, I do think they are desperate at the moment. Yes. They're, they're on new ground as much as we are. And um yeah they're fallible also hmm. so i think it, yeah to keep pushing in whatever way that you feel most comfortable to do so whether it's to do the protests or from the comfort of your own home on you know even just having this chat hmm. i feel it's really important to start or to remind people that we can actually do this like hmm. all this business is is part of it is part of shutting down our well they want to shut us up don't they they want to speak, shut us up our freedom of so speech. let's not shut up that's right you know that's why yeah. they don't want us to get together really they want us to shut up yeah i mean it's nice that we've been able to do this on zoom today with this green screen behind us and yeah, lots yeah. of stuff you know yeah. don't you love cgi yeah. that's right you know yeah you wouldn't so believe that i'm like a hundred kilometers away from these guys <laughs> you know like the green screen's pretty good, actually, mm -hmm. you know, like... That's technology. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> what, you think there's some sort of wall thing here, and like a piano and stuff? Are you serious? Some you know? weird outline. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks real. Yeah, I mean, Richard's hair's realistic. looking a little frizzy, well, but I think it's yeah. pretty good, you know? Yeah, That's the green the screen's hanging together pretty well, you know? Yeah. I yeah. like it. Uh -huh. Technology, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's working. Uh -huh. <laughs> on that level. On that level, it's working. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, well, maybe on that note... That we can, we're all laughing at the end. That's despite, a good way to. That's a good despite, way to. Um, up, up and away. Yeah.
yeah yeah that keep we are, yeah to keep to keep finding some joy and, and we'll, keep talking keep yeah. talking yeah. they want us to shut up so talk no, they won't shut us up talk yeah no. <laughs> they want us isolated so don't be isolated no. do everything that they don't want you to do yeah you know i'm i'm a very simple guy you know Forces of evil want me to do this, then I'm doing the opposite. Yep. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Flip. Okay? That's right. Mm. Yep. And they can get stuffed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> On that note, thanks for chatting, Rusters. We'll look forward to yeah. doing it again soon. No worries. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs>